So, I mean, w- with that, it kind of leads me to another question. And you're part of like the Boston Cage book club. So you like understand the philosophies behind that. So this next question yes. kind of stems from that, but it's a three-part question. The first part of this question, I want you to think from adolescence until, you know, when you got laid off, what books like helped you grow and overcome those hurdles? What books helped you on the journey, right? Part two to this question is (laughs) what books are you reading right now? What books are, are you like embracing right now? And then part three to this question is, have you had an opportunity to author any books? And if you haven't, are you planning to? Okay. So the first question is kind of loaded. I was an English major in undergrad and quit in my after my junior year. Wow. So I read, I took so many literature class. I hated literature, by the way. Um, but I took really cool lit classes so that I was exposed to um, different genres and dialects and um, and backgrounds. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when I quit college, um, I started working for my first corporate job and I didn't really spend a lot of time outside of recreational reading, reading a lot. But when I went back to finish my degree, when I was 30 ish, um, that then opened up my penchant back for reading and consuming information that was very helpful. So I went for my business degree and read a lot of, you know, the textbooks, but also a lot of business books on the side. Um, Ayn Rand was one of my Atlas Shrugged has really um, helped me formulate the way that I, the way that I feel about the balance between business and society, you know, or social impacts. Um, And then there were a few other books along the way that have certainly helped. Um, The Obstacle is the Way helped me get out of my deep, dark depression. Um, Standing in the Fire was an excellent book that talked about this colonel who brought his army into the woods and a gigantic fire lit in the middle. And they were stuck in the middle. And he said, just don't move. The fire will die out. I promise. Just don't move. Everybody leapt the fire outside and died and he was left standing in the you know standing in the fire um and that's i forget who wrote that book but he um he correlates that to talking about difficult things in business like without those difficult conversations you can't possibly get anywhere or even stay standing as a business Um, and then now I'm really reading, um, I read a lot of blogs to be perfectly honest with you. I've cut down on the books. However, um, audio books are my friend. Priya Parker's The Art of Gathering is probably the most recent, most compelling book I've read. Um, she talks about making spaces for growth and connection. And it totally speaks to my heart. 